Hey guys, Richie from Fred Junkies and we are back. Uh, this is going to be a quick fire lesson. Um, the tone throughout the lesson is not going to be great because I've got an issue with the mic and the cam. I was going to originally run the IR, but that's a whole other story. Um, so I'm just going to ignore the tone per se. Um, if you stick with the video to the end, I'm going to talk about the tone and how to get closer to Doyle's tone. But if you're new here, um, we're going to be looking at some Doyle Bramble licks. And, um, and yeah, let's, let's not sit on it any longer. Let's move, move straight into the video. It's going to be tuned flat. Okay, we're going to be tuned down to E flat. And um, I'm going to run through some licks and then I'll break them down. It's going to be improvised as always, okay? <laughs> Okay, so um, probably some in there that might have been and some that might not have been. Uh, I just want to make a statement that I've kind of, it's important to look at other people's playing, take as much as you can from them and mold it into yourself, okay? That's so important, man, you know? Um, nobody wants to be a clone, you know? It's good to play licks like other people, but, you know, it's nice to be yourself as well, okay? So uh, it's important that you take licks from everywhere and try and amalgamate them. Um, so, yeah, let's get into a couple of his licks, okay? Um, like I said, it's E-flat. If we look at the one from the start of the Premier guitar, I think, it's a... Uh, okay, so on the E string, we're going seven. On the A string, five, seven. On the D string, four. Okay, and this is gonna be from the Dorian scale. If you're new here, there's going to be a link up here somewhere that's going to take you to the Dorian mode, to, sorry, Dorian mode, and why it's so important, okay? But this kind of stuff is very Dorian, as is a lot of Doors playing, so... And the approach and the attack, if you can, hit up strings, okay? And then on the G string, we're going to go... Ah. So on the G string, we've got seven, slide to six, five, uh, four. Hammer back onto six. You kind of want to pinch your notes. It's a thing that Doyle does a lot is he pinches and squeezes his notes. And sometimes there's a lot of um, double stops in there, whether they're on purpose or not, I don't know. But that's kind of one of the nuances you get a lot when you listen, okay? And then there's a couple of ways. You can either go open G, ham on to the first, resolve to the E, which would be the second fret on the D string. Okay. So you probably see that on the start of the Premier guitar. Um, another one, if we're gonna keep we're gonna keep all this in E. Let's make it easy. We'll call it keep it on all in E, okay? So that would be, again, slide from the 7 to the 9. And then on the 9 string on the B string, you're going to slide, uh, sorry, on the 9th fret on the B string, slide to the 7. Pull off to 5. Sorry. And then you're going to hit the 6 on the G string. Back to the 5 on the B string. And then a little tiny bend. So, uh, um, okay, and what else have we got? It's also a lot of things you'll do is you'll do a lot of double stops. You, you've got to think you're playing upside down. Just, uh, <coughs> excuse me. A peanut stuck in my throat. Not a penis, peanuts. Um, and a lot of the picking attack is reversed. So if you try and... <coughs> the difference there right now it's more Doyle because he would be picking upside down so you want to be trying to approach when I really want to try and dig in I'll approach a lot of the licks upstroke if I can uh, so this year we're going to grab the B and the E string on the 10 and grab the 12 uh, fret on the G
And then just slide that whole position down to the fifth and the seventh, and then release to an A. So six, five, five. a lot of this on his live work when he's uh, kind of just noodling I guess and just improvising which is the best way to play right um, and probably the a real good one is again double stop uh, <laughs> that took me ages to really understand and get it quite right there's a lot going on there for a very simple lick if we just look at the first bit So there we've just got a bang from the beat on the B on the 15th. Catching the root, high E, 12th. And then we're going to catch the, the B and the G string on the 15th and slide them down to the 14th. I really dig in, man. And then to the 12th. And try and push them slightly, a little squeeze on them and resolve to the E. So just a walk down the scale of that. Uh, so where we go so far? got some other bits oh he does a lot of um sliding into a bend which i I've quite, i do a lot of instinctively without really copying doyle um and it's something i've kind of worked on and tried to make my own but he will do a lot of so what i can hear him doing i don't know if that's the way he is doing it is he'll slide up to the 12th on the g string and hit the b open <laughs> And then he might catch it. He might, he might not. He might, sometimes he catches underneath and you'll do a lot of that. approach the licks as well I noticed a lot of stuff you would do will be almost the way you would think of it backwards for a normal uh, player to do so here are skip strings <laughs> cool one um, if you want to travel from the thicker strings down to the high strings so we're going seventh on the E five on the A the scale pentatonic um, so we've got quite a few there so far um, another one you might do is uh, that's probably one that's used quite a lot okay so we've got a double stop, uh, B and the E, 
on the 10, hammer to the 12 on the B. And then slide, release your first finger, slide down to the 10 on the B. To the 8. And then we're going to go on the G string. We're going to go 9. 9 on the D. So. Major third, or just in between actually, and resolve to the E. And you'll do that lots of different ways. Now whether he does that I don't know, um, but it just falls into the fingers easy. I mean I've developed a lot of like a lot of stuff like this that I've kind of took from him, I guess, and evolved into my own. Um. So you're kind of stealing, you know, bits or being inspired uh, and, and adding my own bits. Um, so there's been a lot quickly there. I didn't want to do too much talking and give a load of crap. I just wanted to hammer some licks into you. You guys can slow this down, watch it back, make it your own. Um, I would suggest going to E flat. Uh, to make it easier to follow the video. Um, sometimes he does go down to D and sometimes he's in E standard. So uh, you just gotta find what works for you. But for this video, we've been in E standard. Get your reverb good. Um, try and get bass in the amp. Um, that's quite important. Bass will come with volume, but bass in the amp is, is, is a big thing. I noticed I've seen Doyle live in um, Hamburg in Germany. And one thing that I really took away from it was how big his sound was from the bass that was coming from his guitar. And it was a beautiful, beautiful thing, man. Um, so I no longer use the uh, bright setting on the amp because I've kind of gone away from that tone. For the meantime, I'll probably come back around to it. I don't know, but for right now, I'm kind of maturing away from that. All my ears are hurting too much. So I'll have the switch. I've got it actually bright is on there, but I've jumped it to the, to the other channel dimed the bass and turned the treble down and turned the brightness off. Um, so I've gained quite a big fat sound from the vibra verb alone. Um, and then I add paddles on for fit, on for flavor. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump in quickly, okay? Um, actually, I'm just gonna just tell you quickly what I think about achieving his tone. And then I'm gonna play you out with what I believe is the closest that I can get to his kind of sound, okay? So for Doyle, you want a zonk-ish, Fuzz, amp reverb, or Strymon Flint, or a good reverb other than that. Light echo, and a good univibe. Um, uses the univibe a lot, so subtle sometimes you can't even tell it's there, but it's definitely on in a lot of the recordings. Um, and bigger than all that, bigger than all the gear, bigger than all the licks, it's what you put into it, man. Um, so it's becoming more and more apparent to me. I mean, you've heard the old cliche, you know, you can't have his hands and all that. It's not just the hands, man. It's the person. And it's what the person has about him that goes in, you know. You give it some attitude, man. Give it some style, some steeds, you know, and you're going to get a lot more out. If you just push your foot into it and you're going, oh, you know, double stopping and it's not doing it. Like attitude, man. Let your, you know, try and put as much cool as you can into your playing. And I think it does come out. Well, I'm certain it does come out. Um, so mix all them together. Look at them licks and, you know, hopefully that's going to help you out with a few of Doyle Bramwell's licks. Um, I'll do no more talking now. I'm going to play this out. I'll show you a shot of the board um, and we'll go from there. This particular video, I was using the BG Zonk. I don't know if you can see there. I had the, I've got the acid fuzz as well. Always being straight with you fellas, as I always have. The BG sounds closer. I think I read somewhere that these production ones were tuned different to the one that he done for Doyle, uh, which is a real shame if that's true. 
um, because that could have led a lot of people on, including myself. I could be wrong out there, you know. I'm not. That's no. I could be wrong, but yeah, I think from what I read, the tuned his one was tuned to gate more um, at lower settings. This is quite hard to get to gate. The BG Zonk. If you're looking for zonk, strict zonk tones, then yeah. If you're looking for um, more trumpet s gate tones and then watch the video and you're going to see something very special coming out from um, myself and venus witch soon as the a1 fuzz it's possibly my favorite fuzz to date um just because of what it offers fuzz face uh zonk tones trumpet tones and it's a completely new circuit but if you're after zonk and strict zonk no look no further than the bg you had it man um and that, that's as truthful as I can get. Let's play you out. Thanks for being here. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe, share, and uh, all that where you can. Helps my channel grow. Uh, this is funded by passion. And, um, and I appreciate everyone being here, okay? Take it easy. Peace.